Good morning, folks. Friday, February 14th, Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, last time we had a hard freeze, and uh, we went down into about 25, and I did not cover my lawn, my, 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 um, my garden. And today I'm coming out to see how it did. Uh, right now I'm looking at it. It looks like uh, the leaves are a little stiffened. Let me get my backpack off my shoulder. It looks like the, the leaves are a little stiffened, see? They're hard. Everything is hard. It's frozen. And you can hear it. It's, <laughs> it's just hard, okay? We'll see how it does. I'll come back today. The sun's gonna be out nice and nice and warm today. And uh, I'll come take a look at it this afternoon. <laughs> I've had it before, uh, I didn't cover it. I've had this type of garden survive way lower temperatures than that uh, with some cover. And uh, last night I didn't cover it, so we'll see. I think it'll be okay. At least the Swiss chart will be okay. It always seems to come back. Uh, it just gets a little bit uh, droopy for a couple of days and then it recovers. I'm not sure about the lettuces. But anyway, I thought I showed you how frozen uh, <laughs> frozen veggies <laughs> how frozen lettuces and greens look like okay folks uh, I'll do a video later today and uh, show you the results now on this side we have the the kale which really I mean it could take a, an ice age before it goes bad yeah, it's just doing fine but still still a little stiff but it's doing it's, it'll do the, it'll do just fine Anyway, folks, uh, until next time. Well, it's uh, February 16th, and today we have a very nice and warm day, about 70-some degrees. And uh, I'm coming back to the garden. If you recall, earlier on I showed you uh, the garden, how it was frozen on the morning of February 14th. That was last Friday, and everything was stiff and frozen. And I told you, well, let's see if these plants survive or not. And here they are, all doing good. No signs of frost damage. The lettuces, the, these lettuces have very gentle, soft leaves. They were all stiff, and now they're all back to normal. See. Look at that. I thought they were going to be wilting, but no. The, the Swiss chart is just doing just fine. So now you know, folks. Uh, this is a garden, a winter garden. Uh, it survived about 25 Fahrenheit at night without cover. So this is what I've done before. Uh, I've had this thing covered in ice only with a, with a, sheet, on, a sheet on top of it. Uh, this time I didn't put anything, a blanket or nothing. I just let it, let it, I didn't think it was going to be that cold at night and I just didn't cover it. And I came out the next morning, I thought it was half of it, I was going to lose half of it, but no, everything just uh, did fine. So, now you know, 25 Fahrenheit, one night, and the, the plants did okay. This is the side, uh, the south side of the house. So it helps a lot that it's not getting whipped by the wind. Uh, in my experience in the past, uh, wind whipped plants <laughs> do a lot worse than plants that are just in the cold. It's the wind that kills them. Uh, constantly getting lashed by the wind. So let's add this to our cumulative knowledge of gardening. <laughs> These winter greens can survive uh, up to about 25, 24 for a few hours and do just fine. Until next time, folks.